So I uh, use these a lot, okay? And uh, these are on the hose because it's just a lot simpler for me when I'm, I mean, and, and you know, uh, and especially if you use like organics, uh, which is what this is. This is an organic uh, uh, hemic acid. And so I roughly have about 6,000 uh, square feet that I need to cover in my yard. And um, so I put, you know, this is like one ounce per thousand feet. Well, one ounce per gallon per thousand feet. So I really don't know the conversion on the top here. But what I do do is I turn it to like five or six. And I know that I need to spread all this out over 6,000 square feet. So I fill this up full of water. I, I really don't understand how to get the correct dispersal for that. But I do know that this needs to be spread out. What's in here, about six ounces, needs to be spread out over the 6,000 square feet. And um, so that's what I put in here. And then I fill this up full of water, hook it to the sprayer, turn it to the five setting or six setting, just depends. And I continue to spray. If you press it to the 10, you're gonna get a heavy coverage and, and uh, it'll it'll, uh, it'll it'll take a while. It'll take a few waterings for the fertilizer to kick in. I, I, I know the amount, I just don't know the, the rate that needs to transpire on here. I, I just don't, I don't, can't comprehend it. I'm sure I can look it up somewhere, but like that writing's real small and my glasses aren't that good. So uh, that's the deal and uh, that's how I'm gonna spread uh, so you just take one ounce per thousand square feet, if that's what the dosage is, or one ounce per gallon, and then you spread the gallon over a thousand square feet, so you need six gallons roughly. And uh, so I, I, I'll, if, I'll slow this up, so I, I adjust it if I'm like, oh, well, I'm getting near the end and I'm getting ready to run out. Well, there's going to be an area that's going to get a little bit more than it should, but typically I can kind of gauge it by eye and then see if I need to, you know, turn it down to maybe four or something and then, uh, you know, and kind of spread my rate out. And then next time I do it, I start from the area that got the low dispersal rate. Usually I end up in my backyard and, uh, and, and, and it just, uh, it gets a lot of fertilizer just with the dog piss and poop. And then I got chickens and, uh, so it gets a lot of chicken poop so I'm not really too worried about the backyard. It's doing good other than some burn spots. I got, I got some burns. I think that's just where all the dogs just go uh, uh, to the bathroom or the fence heats up or something. Um, but I'm going to spray this and I'm going to spray something else. Um, and, and I'm going to target the back for that just to kind of green things up before the fall kicks in 100%. But this stuff here um, helps water move in and out of the plant so that's that's uh that's what this is very and the nutrients water and nutrients move in and out of the out of the grass so that's why you need the humic acid um i probably am doing okay well i'll tell you what i'll go get my gauge hold on so i, I got one of these how accurate they are eh, i don't know but i tell you what i will do we'll set it to ph and see what it does. Uh. Okay, it's moving a little bit down, but not much. So this is kind of a weak acid. So anyhow, I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up full of water and then we'll attach to the hose.
Here we go. Let's turn it on. So we're almost halfway there and we're almost done with the front yard. All right, so I'm gonna spray this area here with this. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm about halfway, so it's not that big of an area back here that I have to spray. I don't spray it under the tree where the grass doesn't grow but so here needs some green up and i'm going to spray some green up on it so. it's where the dogs poop right over here But this is all planted Bermuda back here, so I mean it, it, it's it's pretty good uh, Bermuda seed that I got. So yeah, we're kind of running down here. So I haven't gotten any seed over there. We're gonna take down this pool, I think, and buy another one. So I think the pump, I ran over the thing and doing get the pumps almost the cost of the pool, so. So we'll put some green up on here too, some super green, some organic that I got. to move that firewood there. I'm getting ready to start a project here. That's not one of the projects. I'm gonna use that in my project. I'm gonna to try to build a pizza oven. I'm still whacking. Clean up this backyard. But I like the lawn, man. The lawn's nice, except for over there. Right? It, it just died off for some reason. Not died off, just browned out real good. And, you know, and the, Probably because of the sh uh, shade right there, because it, it doesn't, it gets more light over there, and it's still green, but there's, yeah, there's obviously shade, but this just gets a ton of shade. I need to thin that tree out, but, all right, so we're almost down at the bottom here, and we, we've covered the backyard with this stuff, and it's an organic, so it's not going to burn it, but the yard looks real nice, you know, the, the, that Bermuda seed. All right, so there we go. All right, so here, here's what I put down. This, this this stuff's great, man. If if your lawn is having trouble getting water, you know, if it never looks like you do, you you water or you fertilize, uh, you probably just need to add some of that, and that'll help uh, absorb food, and it'll help also help with soil compaction somewhat. I mean, it's an organic, so it's not going to be like super strong. And then this is just to green up uh, the lawn. And um, I mean, my lawn's pretty green, but so I have about 6,000 square feet that I need to make maybe a little more, but I, I get, well, now it's about 6,000 square feet because I got a pool in the backyard that's uh, like 18 feet in diameter. So I got about 6,000 square feet total of grass that I probably need to spread this over. That's a rough guesstimate, but it's organic, so it shouldn't really burn in the lawn you can put too much of this like I, I doubled the rate at one time and, and and the grass was real gummy until I watered it a bunch and then it like had the super green up so and that, that that was just using this and so I kind of backed off half 
because I really can't figure out the, the rate. I'm sure there's a way to figure out the rate, but like I said, the, the, the instructions are just way too small. So, anyhow, so I put six ounces and I put a little over 10 ounces. I tried to put 12, but I filled that up too much and, uh, and only got about 10 and a half ounces in there. And the rest, I, I'm, I'm going to use it to water the plants up on the top there and fertilize them. So I'm going to put some of this green envy over here. And it's laid, laid down twice as much as the last stuff, so... I, I put two, so I put about 12 ounces in here. Well, I couldn't quite fit 12 ounces, so I just put about maybe 10. But it called for 12, so that's all right. Just need this stuff to green up over here. So uh, yeah, and then you got to kind of water it in, and that's what I'm doing now. Um, so we'll see. I mean, my lawn looks pretty good. It's uh, mid October, and uh, I mean, I, my my grass along the curb got kind of burnt over the uh, summer. I mean, it gets hot here, dude, like 107, 108, and that concrete gets real hot, especially since they reblacked it or whatever, retard it. The black just absorbs a lot more heat than the old <laughs> gray looking streak that was there. But anyhow, all right. Y'all, thanks for, for watching and hope you can learn. I just gotta water everything in now. But all right, y'all have a good day.